There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So it's your girl April and today's video is all about a full lace, glueless full lace wigs by Eva Wigs. And I got this wig here in the mail and it comes in this cute blue box, just regular packaging. But I will be washing it before I continue on with the video but I wanted to show it to you guys beforehand. So the wig comes packaged this way as normal and there's a comb and some bobby pins inside. But this is their Kinky Straight which is in a color number 2 and it is a um, 24 inch um, length glueless full lace. So this is the wig straight out of the box. So the hair is really soft and you can see I'm just running my fingers through it. It's a kinky texture and it feels it's so soft it feels like cotton. So it's a color number two which is like a kind of like a medium dark brown. Um, it is like a dark brown more or less a little bit closer to my own natural color. This unit does come with the combs inside. It does have like a stretch panel inside so that way it'll stretch to your head and the adjustable straps in the back. There are no combs so if you want to put a bobby pin or a comb then you can do so. I'll probably what I would do is remove the middle comb right here and put it to the nape area because I do like the combs. So this is 24 inches in length and um, I will put the style number for this one below. Now it probably doesn't look 24 inches right now because it is kinky but what I'm going to do because it's so big I'm going to actually well you know what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how it looks before I wash it on my head so that way you can get an idea of how it looks straight out the package but normally what I like to do when it's like kind of like poofy like this I do like to condition them. So straight out the package this is what the wig looks like so as you see it is kind of big and thick. So what I want to do is have it lay down, just lay it down onto my head so that way it's not as big as well as that is. I'm going to put the part to where I like it. That way you'll be able to see the part because right now because the hair is so big you're not really able to see the part like you would. And it's also about right here so once I wash and condition it and allow it to air dry it will get a little bit more lengthier. Okay love so I went ahead and washed the wig. And while I wash it, I do condition it. And once the conditioner is sitting in the wig, I go ahead and I'll make a part in my unit. You can also do this to remove the part in any unit that you have. It makes the process a lot better. Your wig is basically training the part to go the certain direction that you want it to go. And so all you need to do is just basically brush the hairs down. So I'm brushing the front hairline back because I want the hair to have just a little bit of height and volume to it. So that is the reason for me pushing or brushing it back. It does have a nice curved part and as far as that really easy to part while wet okay you guys so let me tell you first of all no lie 30 minutes it took for this unit to dry like 30 minutes I did put it on my balcony left it on a mannequin head put it on my balcony um, in my bedroom it's really sunny here and it's probably like 95 98 degrees right now so it does get hot on the balcony especially because the sun is beaming but it is already dry so as you see it did come out to a it, it came out a little bit better so it's not as poofy so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer in on the inner portion of my part all right so it is time to put this baby on she came out really cool um, really nice easy dry first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my concealer and I did put that on the part inner side or the inner portion of the part but now I'm gonna do it on the outside before I even get into the details you have to check out Eva wigs they have a new section called very first wigs which are just a certain amount of units there's not like a huge variety but there are a nice amount to pick from these units are a lot um, less in price so the prices are very competitive. You can get yourself a really nice glueless full lace wig. It's basically a set as a certain style, like meaning all of them either be glueless, full lace, um, center part or right part. But if you want to change it, you want to change the color or the length, they'll always customize the unit for you. But like I said, this is their very first wig section. So they do have limited styles, but the prices are really competitive. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer on the outer portion of my part and just make it look more realistic, you know, give it a little scalpage. And one of my favorite keratin hair filler fibers, which I use consistently, I swear by this stuff. And I do have a video featuring Eva wigs as well as a tutorial on how to use it. This stuff really does help if you have thin edges or you want your hair to be a little bit more fuller in the front or darker just to blend in uh, a lot better with your unit. So yes, topic hair filler fibers are really great for that. You can pick them up at Sally's Beauties. Also, you can pick them up from Target.com. I highly suggest the spray nozzle. So here she is all applied with my concealer and topic hair filler fibers. And it is now time to flat iron her out. The flat iron that I'm using is actually from Irresistible Me. And this one is their diamond flat iron, which I did a tutorial on actually flat ironing this kinky straight hair prior. This flat iron is really lightweight. It gets up to 430 degrees. And with one pass through, it's a really easy unit to flat iron. I'm going to leave it basically just a little bit straight. I may bump the ends, but the hair does come out really straight. It still does leave the crinkles or basically that yakky African-American texture. So it's still kinky straight. It's just not as poofy or thick as you know as you see it. But I do like the, um, the look of this unit. Okay guys, so I finished using, I actually flat ironed the entire thing. I was gonna put some curls in it, but then I was like, well, if I do that, then I wanna layer it at least in the front a little bit, and I really didn't wanna cut it right yet. But I used my Diamond um, Flat Iron Series from um, Irresistible Me, which is like a bomb, bomb. It's really lightweight, so I like to use it. I do have another one that's my favorite, which is the Diamond Infused by Lisa Ray, and I love that one too. But this one is a lot more lightweight. It goes up to 430 degrees, and it was just like one pass through with this hair. So it didn't take the texture out of it. So at first I was afraid like the hair was going to turn silky smooth because I was flat ironing it, but it actually didn't. It just gave it a more smoother texture, a little bit more relaxed, but it still is thick all throughout the perimeter of the hair. And I like the way it lays. So once I flat ironed it, and I'm not really sure if it got a little bit longer, but it's still lengthy, but the hair texture, the quality is really soft. So I think this is like an easy wig, especially for those who have like relaxed coarser hair or relaxed hair and it's thick like this. This one will probably blend in really well. It is a number two and it probably looks like it can be like a 1B on camera, but it's a tad bit light darker than my own natural hair color, which is a little bit lighter. So what I use to fill in my um, edges as well as kind of like dark in my hair in the front is my topic hair feral um, hair keratin hair building fibers I love this stuff and I've used this in like loads of videos I'll use it in like all of my videos um, and I use it because for one my edges are not as thick as the actual unit so if you have thin edges or you have balding spots or balding edges or no edges at all then you may want to give this a try you can pick this up at Sally's or also target target.com um, the color that I have is a dark brown. They do have black, they have blondes, they have grays, and they actually look just like shaved hair. So it's not like a spray, it's not gonna stain your clothes. It actually looks just like, I wanna say dirt, but it doesn't look like dirt, it looks like shaved hair. But I love this stuff because it actually helps my hair blend in flawless, seamlessly with any wig that I wear, especially for my edges. But anyway, onto the hair. So I ended up having to put the hooks all the way to like the very last, they kind of like crossed each other, crisscrossed because the cat was a little bit roomy for my head. And I'm not sure if it's because my hair is thin or what have you, but I put it really tight so that way it wouldn't move around. And as you've seen in the video, to part your hair is really simple. I do it the easiest way. If you want to take your part out, you want to change it to a middle part, the best way to do that is to wash the hair. And once you're conditioning it, brush your conditioner in it and then brush the part out and make yourself a new part, brush it through, and then go ahead and rinse the conditioner out the hair. Make sure you're holding the hair so that your part will stay and you're good to go. That is the easiest way for me to explain and for me to make an actual part. But the unit is lovely, it's really soft, and it dried so fast, like super duper fast, and I really do like this one, like this one. I love Eva wigs because they have like some bomb ass wigs on their website, and excuse my French, but I'm gonna be honest and say they have 
some really bomb wigs and even their extension wefting hair is like bomb too so yeah check them out i will post all the information for you guys below of where you can pick this unit up this is the 24 inches and it is a color number two and as always make sure you rate comment subscribe let me know what you think and i'll see you guys on my next video